Guys, what's up? My name is Justin Mark, your national dating coach, relationship expert. And in this video, we're gonna talk to you about the four biggest sexual turnoffs. Let's sit back, hang tight, and let's jump straight in. So the first thing that most guys do that causes women to just be socially, emotionally, and sexually turned off is the, the guys being too obsessively into sex before the girl is even emotionally committed to you. So there's an infamous pickup artist named Mystery who essentially coined the term a seven hour rule. The seven hour rule pretty much is a rule of thumb that says the average woman needs to spend about seven hours with a man before she'll decide to have sex with you. And a lot of guys, what they'll do is they will kind of rush into sex or they'll rush into that kind of sexual situation before the woman feels safe, comfortable, respected, or is even into you. And what that will cause is uncomfortability. It'll cause a lack of trust and it'll just cause the woman to be sexually turned off and it won't allow her to let a full of emotions with your perceived social value take place. And so what will happen is women will feel kind of turned off by you before you've even had a chance to make your moves, before you've even had a chance to, you know, actually build some sort of relationship dynamic. And so the issue there is when guys get really obsessive or needy when it comes to, you know, sex and intimacy, girls just get fucking turned off. They get kind of closed off. They get kind of nervous. And the crazy thing is women are very sexual creatures. Women are very sexual beings. Women love sex. But when guys rush to sex before hooking the woman socially and emotionally, well, the girl can't really trust you and therefore she's not gonna have sex with you. And so think about your relationships. Think about the last date you went on. Think about the last time you were with a girl and it didn't go the way you wanted it to go. Well, were you at all a little bit too needy with sex? Were you a little bit too sexual from the beginning? Did you make things a little bit too weird? Now, there's nothing wrong with being sexual as a man. It's a normal part of masculinity, but you gotta make sure the girl feels safe, comfortable, and respected, and you gotta remember time is your ally. Now, the second biggest turnoff that women will experience with guys is poor hygiene. If you smell bad, if your breath stinks, if you don't smell good, maybe you have stinky armpits, maybe <laughs> your clothes don't smell good. Well, guess what? Any really high quality woman is gonna perceive this as a turnoff, okay? Any self-respecting woman is gonna perceive this as a turnoff. Now it's crazy because there's always an exception to every single rule. I've had days where I've been showered for two, three days and go out and pull. It's kind of, kind of gross, kind of weird, but a lot of girls won't care, right? But at the same time, you don't wanna fight an uphill battle and you don't wanna talk to a gorgeous, stunning, elegant woman and smell bad, right? So wash your clothes wash your hair, wash behind your ears, <laughs> and use some good deodorant on your armpits. Use a nice, fancy, elegant cologne. My favorite cologne is One Million by Paco Rabanne. It's my favorite, okay? And uh, you know, right now I use a Ralph Lauren polo cologne. And it's great because when you actually smell good, the girls are actually even more attracted to you. Brush your teeth, make sure to floss, Make sure your hygiene is just on point. Make sure your grooming is amazing. Make sure to shave your pubes. <laughs> and make sure that everywhere you go, you smell good, your hygiene's great, and you just got a good handle on your personal hygiene. What that'll allow you to do is just be perceived as a more attractive guy overall. And it's gonna make women feel a lot more sexually comfortable with you when that time comes. Now, here's the third biggest turnoff that a lot of guys make as a mistake is not being a leader when the time does come to being sexual, right? Women want the man to take control in a consensual and respectful way. So oftentimes when things are getting hot and spicy in the bedroom and you know, maybe it's in a relationship, maybe it's a girl you're dating, maybe it's a girl you're seeing, maybe it's a girl you're kind of friends with benefits with, maybe it's just a hot Tinder date and she wants you to take control. Well, you gotta do it in a way that makes her feel safe, comfortable and respected and communicate well with her. And so oftentimes what the guy will do is the guy will kind of wait for the girl to make the move. 
the guy will kind of wait for the girl to make the first kiss. Well, no, that's kind of your job as a man to initiate things, but make sure she feels comfortable. So you can kind of initiate maybe the kiss, but you can let her know, hey, we don't have to do anything you don't want to do. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. And she'll kind of let you know what the situation is, right? And then you can kind of move forward and you know shoot your shot and give it a go, if you know what I'm saying. And most girls, they want to be at the effect of a man's masculinity. Right now, that's not always the case, but it is the case most times, right? If you actually ask most women, you know, do they wanna make the first move? No, they don't, right? Most women want the guy to make the first move. And so it's your job to be a leader, be a man and man the fuck up and lead things to the bedroom. Make things easy, make it logistically easy. Make things just, make it seem like it just happened. Make it to the women seem like, whoops, it just kind of happened, whoop, you kind of just hooked up. And that way, you're kind of taking the pressure off her and you know, make sure you're not judging her at all whatsoever, sexually or emotionally, okay? And that brings us to the last you know, mistake that most guys make that you know, turns girls off is judging the woman sexually. You always want to keep an open mind. You always want to communicate really well. What you want to do is you kind of want to almost demonstrate that you're this really cool, open-minded guy who's open-minded about sex. You're super open-minded with sex and relationships and all that fun stuff. And you never, ever really want to be judging her. And when you show that you're non-judgmental, she can feel that she can relax in your masculine presence. And she can also feel a lot more comfortable with you sexually, right? But if you do judge her, she's going to kind of close off and it's just going to organically not lead to sex, not lead to intimacy, and it's gonna kinda just turn her off. It's funny, because one of my buddies actually just texted me saying, hey man, sorry I didn't go out, I ended up hooking up this girl. And he had texted me hours before, like almost three hours ago, saying, hey, I don't think it's gonna happen, I don't think we're gonna end up hooking up, right? But the thing is, he realized that time is his ally. He didn't judge the girl. <laughs> he made sure to you know, dress well, smell good. He followed all this advice in this video, naturally and organically and then things kind of just happen right so make sure you're not judging the girl make sure you know your hygiene's great make sure you're leading things in the right way but also make sure that you don't rush it to sex or getting too sexual kind of lay back and kind of let her relax and if you do these things you're gonna make sure the girl stays emotionally turned on and sexually turned on and you're gonna massively increase your chances for getting lucky and making her feel like she got lucky too. So guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert, VIP lifestyle development teacher. I love teaching you guys this stuff. I love helping you guys this stuff. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Apparently 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. So make sure to subscribe right now, click the bell notification so you're notified of new videos. And also, Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, my new Instagram, Drunk Justin too. Go follow me there. You can message me if you have any questions at all whatsoever. I'll be sure to reply. Go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. Watch my crazy daily Snapchat stories. Go ahead and join my Telegram inner circle. Link down in the description down below. And we'll see you guys very soon in a new video. If you did like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm so we know we're doing well. My name is Justin Mark. I'll talk to you soon in a new video. Peace out.